guys, um, I wanted to show you how you can create a collage from your own artwork and maybe some pictures that you have on either in your Google Drive or on your computer, um, as well with some digital drawing. So here is an example, let me see here, of one that I created just using some colors and a drawing that I did and a picture that I had taken. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did that. Um, first, you're gonna to go to, and this is in your drawing choice board, the docs.google.com backslash drawings. If you type that into your search engine, it'll take you to here. And once you're in here, just like in the slideshow, you go to insert, image and it gives you the option of uploading from your computer so if you have pictures of your artwork or other photographs that you want to use um, say if you were doing friends or family as your collage and you had pictures you wanted to use you could upload them from your computer um, along with any artwork that you had saved to your drive in your art folder so i'm going to use this drawing that i did even though it's not finished and I'm also going to use, so I'm going to do nature. Another picture that I took, it's actually from the door of a famous church, the Sagrada Familia in Barcelona, Spain. I may have showed you pictures of that when I went for spring break last year. Um, the door's in such detail that they had these bronze cast leaves and even bug on there. So I'm going to make this big. Well, oh, not that big. Oh, and when you're resizing stuff, always use the corners. When you use the sides or the top to bottom, it stretches and distorts the image. So if you want to keep it intact, you always just use the um, corners. So you can do your images side by side. You can reshape them. You can crop them if you wanted to, to cut things out. Um, I am going to just, actually, maybe I will crop this. Let's see how we do that. I'm going to crop it. And when I drag that down there, now I have less of that um, blank space. So I'm going to move this image. See how it goes behind it? What you can do, ah, click on this, go to Arrange, Order and bring to front. And now it's on top. So I want to make this bigger. Actually, I'm going to go back. I don't like that I cropped it. So I'm just, there we go. I'm going to, one more, there we go. But I do want to bring it to the front. See, that's the nice thing about the computer. It makes it easier for you to change your mind about things. All right, right on top. Now, over here, you go to Format Options, and then it gives you different things you can play with your pictures. Um, I am going to adjust the contrast here just to make the pencil lines a little bit darker and the transparency because I want to see the other image so it's like layered on top so i think that's good leave that like that once you have it the way that you like it and i'm leaving some blank space here on purpose um you can go to a file download and you want to download it as a jpeg see and then it comes down here i didn't title it you can always title it there um, and you can save it right to your drive. That is also an option too. So um, that would be really easy. Let me do, actually, let me title it first. My drive. Um, and then you would just pick your art folder for this year. I'm going to... Um, but then when you go to this site, which is canvas.apps.chrome, you can choose the option new from image. 
and then it'll pull up. You go to your downloads. Mine's all already set to that. And you can pick your image. So there it shows up. And now you can draw on it and manipulate it with these drawing tools. Um, I'm going to go to pencil here. And see how I can just color the image right on the screen. All right, so I can kind of bring this little fairy to the foreground, kind of brighten her up, adding some color here. And another nice thing is um, here you can adjust the opacity, which is like how transparent the um, color is. So if you want it really dark so nothing can show through, you can put it all the way. But if you want it a little bit lighter and then the size of the dot that you're coloring with so that you can, if you have a bigger space, use a larger dot, right? um, smaller space, smaller dot. So um, I'm going to switch to the chalk pastel, I think light blue. Um, and here I'm going to add some color to the wings so you can see them a little bit better. Now this drawing wasn't even finished, so um, and then I'm going to switch it up and add a little bit of purple. But I'm going to adjust it so it's a little bit lighter, so it doesn't quite cover. You can see how you can just sort of like mix and blend the colors. It's a really pretty um, combination. Uh, switch it to some green here. I don't want to take too long, um, but I can color in this other layer so that you can see more of the leaves in the background too. Um, another cool feature is kind of coloring right over the veins in the leaves here, but you can still kind of see them. What you can do is, I'm gonna switch my tool to the pencil, go to white, and the size is probably good. You can draw them back in there with the white, pencil and make them a little more, more visible if you want to. Um, and another nice thing, last thing before I let you go, is if you're coloring on here and you want to just add some color or whatever, if you color it over here and whoops, mess up, if you go to the eraser, the nice thing about the eraser is that it doesn't erase your original image. All right, now I'll have to go back and add the color back on her hair, but it's a really good eraser. Um, I like that feature that you don't lose the original image. So if there was something, you know, you wanted to do, you could add words, you could write, um, whatever, have fun, play with it. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Um, and go be artists.